hotel. Okay. We, we, only, we only did 50 kilometers today, but we got a big 90 kilometer bike ride tomorrow. You only did 50. Who are you, who are you biking with? Matthew Powell. What's his story? Well, he got inspired with, with my idea of doing these trips. He's a client of mine. And so he got all inspired and said, well, could he come on it? Well, it's worked out really well because he, he can read the maps and it's worked out excellent. I don't have to do, I don't have to do my usual ask for directions because I've got Matthew. That made you want to do this adventure. Well, I was talking to my, my buddy Boyan in Slovenia. I told him I was, I did the Danube River trip last year. He said, wow, the trip that he'd like to take is the trip from Toblach down the Dramu River. And I said, oh. wow, that, that sounds interesting. I immediately started to do the research on the Drahu River tour. And I, I found that there's, it can be really quite a tour. You can follow the Drahu River right through to the ocean. Oh. Or, you can, or you can get on a tour group. And so I, I signed up with a tour group and we go to Grado, Italy. So, so instead of following the Drahu all the way down, we've, we've been following it quite a ways. It started as a little trickle up in the, in the Italian Alps. We started a little trickle in the Italian Alps and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Big, and you're, big. Follow, you're following this river every day. About Absolutely. Minimum of 50 kilometers up to 90 kilometers a day. Yep. Do you think anybody could could do this trip who's in reasonable shape? Or what would you suggest they do to get prepared? I think it's important to go out and do interval training. It's the fastest way to get ready. So do 30 seconds fast, 90 seconds easy. And any, any I think any anybody could do this first part. The first part, I mean, we're following a river. Mm. And the the day one was 90% downhill, day two was about 60, 70% downhill. So it's it's a it's a breeze. And I got an e-bike. So today I use the I use the the eco mode. So what I do is I use the eco mode and that that I use for the beginning of the tour. Then I go up to tour mode. And then when I knew we had about 10 kilometers left, I just blitzed it. Poor old Matthew, he was really sucking wind because he doesn't have an e-bike. So is I he in pretty good 20... shape though? He's not bad for 55 years old. He's, he's not bad, but he did some training with me beforehand because I kept saying the critical element is be fit for the experience. So every Thursday we, we would go out and we would do interval training, 10 intervals, 10, 10 30 second intervals, 30 seconds, 90 seconds, 30 seconds, 90 seconds. We do where 10 would of those. You... On, what on the galloping of goose. Where would you on the galloping goose? On the galloping goose, and then we'd finish at the Highland Pacific, which gave us a good hill to go up. But this, thank goodness, we weren't here a couple of weeks ago when it was about forty degrees. It's only about uh, thirty degrees now. But it's only about thirty off. degrees. So how is the heat for you? It's fine. I, I've got my electrolyte replacement drink, making sure that I we stop in places and I to get a glass of water and mix my electrolyte replacement. We're on top of it. And then in terms of diet and, and things that you would carry on the trip, what would what are you carrying with you? The electrolyte replacement? And I have a, a, a special access, it's called access uh, drink that I mix up that, that when you take it, it burns the fat gives you energy by burning fat. Oh, is this that... a, a proprietary uh, product put out by Melaleuca, but it was developed by the the uh, University of Alberta. Hmm. Wait, is there? Act what's the most beautiful Active. thing? What's the most beautiful thing you've you've seen on your trip so far? Well, I would say the mountains up in Tokyo. 
toe black. You, you can go online and get some beautiful mountains because these mountains are, are much like the Rocky Mountains. Oh. They're, they've just erupted right out of the of the ocean, you see. They're, they're just like the rock. The Rocky Mountains came from. Started in the, in the mountains? We started right up in the, in the Italian Alps. That's, well, you could start part way down and different parts on it. But the, the, the irony of it is my buddy from Slovenia, I end up doing the whole thing. So he's not going, but he said, look, it looks like you've got a couple of days at the end of the trip. How about coming up to Slovenia and going for a bike ride with me in Slovenia? So that's what I'm going to do. What about food? What are you eating? Anything cool? Any neat European food? They're better with food than we are, aren't they? No, they're they're fine. Uh, uh, tonight I had a shrimp, a shrimp uh, salad. Last night I had roast beef. Well, one of the interesting things here is because it's high season for tourism. Mm -hmm. If you don't if you don't have a reservation, you don't get into the good restaurants. Oh, but you weren't too worried about that. Were you, or well, did you have we, any reservations? Well, we got one tonight. We, we lucked out. But it was interesting. In Toblach, you'd go to some hotel, and they said, sorry, unless you're, unless you're in the hotel, you don't get a reservation. Or one, I got a kick out of Matt. Matt went into this one Italian restaurant. He said, well, I was wondering if I could get a reservation. Well, we, don't, we have some openings in September. In September? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's yeah. Oh, I'll tell you the, the 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 reservation program is unbelievable. Like last night, the only reason we got in to eat at this lovely restaurant last night is because we were at the hotel. Oh, I see. Well, then that's something that people need to plan out for their trip. Like, you can eat at a restaurant if you're staying at the hotel. Otherwise, book it months in advance. Exactly. But the, the, the interesting part about this, this fun tours, fun active tours, I think is what it's called. We, we can log on to the map every day and it shows all the turns, all the moves. And Matthew's got his cell phone. So he just turns it on and goes, okay, turn here, turn there. And the, the other interesting thing is the, the path is marked out beautifully. Mm. Now, yes, Yesterday, Matthew decided to go back and wanted to take a picture. Hmm. And he, he, there was there, at the at the place we stopped for coffee break. They had a sign: "Men to the left, women to the right," because they're always right. Because they're always right. <laughs> and so he loved he loved that sign. So he went back to take the picture. I said, "That's fine. I'll just ride ahead." Well, be darned if he, he he doesn't catch up to me for the longest time. And there were some turns and dips and doodles, and he thought he'd lost me. Oh, no. So he doubled back and went across a farmer's field and did all kinds of mastication. So <laughs> Matthew got a much longer trip. Most people are, are, are absolutely surprised that we're from Canada, like we're the only North Americans out here. I would think this would be an amazing trip for anybody from North America. It, well, it would be, and it is. But the, the beautiful thing is you can go along maybe 10, 15 kilometers. There's a nice small little town and stop and have a, have a drink of water, have a coffee. But, but there's beautiful little towns every 15 kilometers or so. Not that we stop every 15 kilometers, but there, you see, that's the interesting thing about Austria. And I noticed the same thing in Slovenia because all the little towns were developed in the day of horse and buggy. Oh, so you, can only, you can only go so far. So they've got all these little villages. The other thing that just, and it, it's mind boggling to me, two things. Farming is unbelievable. They have cleared the land up the sides of the mountain, but oh. they also they also understand the importance of harvesting the trees, not clear cutting. Right. They harvest they harvest the trees just like you would harvest a farm. 
So they farm their trees and there's lots of sawmills. So 90 kilometers tomorrow, it's, it's a big, big day tomorrow.